Hello, welcome to Easy English. Today, I'm looking for some life advice on Brighton Beach. Let's go. What life advice can you give us? <sighs> Who are we advising? What age yes. group? Or is it just everybody? So you could advise like a retrospective advice to maybe like 10 years younger okay. yourself, or you could give a general one just to anyone watching. Mm -hmm. right, Can't yeah. believe I'm silent. I'm always giving advice. I know. <laughs> what to do, and now I'm silent. Yes. Yes. Um, <coughs> okay. What advice? I, I would, yes. Yeah, go ahead, you Teresa. Go oh, I was going to say I would advise to work hard at school. Oh. Me too, and that was one of my bits yes, of advice, yes. definitely. Work, work hard. It's only for a little time. Yes. Why do you say that? Because it gives you choices in the future. Get rid of assholes in your life very, very soon. Yeah? Um, because they are drowning you down and you're not worth it. Um, and pay attention at school. I know, I just learned it when I was like 25. Then I went back to school. And I'm really sorry I didn't do that when I was 18. Could you tell me what your life advice would be? Okay. My life advice to people would be to never underestimate the value of languages and travel. I would say, my, my sounds a bit che uh, cheesy, but I would say that oh, yeah, always follow your intuition. Everything will unfold. Like if you listen to the way you feel, people around you, you know, how you react to things and yeah, how a situation might feel to you. That's always a good way to go. If it feels uncomfortable, just don't do it. And it feels like the right thing, just go for it. It's, I think we don't listen to our intuition enough nowadays and we should. <laughs> if you need help keeping up with this episode, you could consider checking out our Patreon page. We offer reading, audio, video and chat-based extras to help you follow along with all our episodes and to suit your specific level of English understanding. You can choose from three levels of perks. The first level gives you reading materials such as transcripts and vocabulary lists, all related to the relevant episode that you're watching. The second level gives you audio and video perks for our episodes. You can get video downloads with and without subtitles, audio only downloads of the episode and other behind the scenes extras featuring outtakes and extra interviews that didn't quite make it into the final video. What life advice would you give? To my younger self? If you like. Um, I think it just find, finding your, your passion and your place in life is, is, is the big thing for me. Right, I'm going to have to pop her down. <laughs> um, be, always be patient. <laughs> um, yeah, just, just finding your place and your purpose in life. I think that's the, the ultimate goal. Yeah. Um, and that should happen quite naturally. Um, and I think once you've found that, you know, it's all about kind of finding that thing that if you do that for a living, it doesn't feel like work, if you know what I mean. You know, finding your passion. So, it, you know, you, you love what you do. Yeah. You're following what, your passion rather than kind of other goals. Um, otherwise, no, I mean, hindsight's a brilliant thing, but yeah. I try and not look back like that. And uh, otherwise, just, yeah, just, just be true to yourself and listen to your, your kind of inner voice, I guess. What life advice can you give? Um, well, I did hear a really good quote on the radio the other day, actually, and they said, which I thought was, was, was a really good one to think about for life, and it said, um, uh, always have somebody to love, always enjoy each day, and always have something to look forward to. I would advise myself to go with my gut feelings, to follow my heart and not to worry about what other people think of me, what I'm doing, what I'm thinking. Because I think over time I've probably missed a lot of fun, enjoyment, because I worry too much about other people. And what has that given you then? What's the benefits of picking up these languages? It when you go to the places, I think you just feel more part of them. More part of the places and more able to understand them and appreciate them and, and not just be a, a witness, you're, you're, you're there. I found with what I'm doing now and with my happiness, 
it doesn't didn't ever come That's from true. what I studied or what I was yes. obsessing with. At uni I went to university and for yes. me it felt like a waste of time. Yeah, so is it yes. about finding a balance then? So it's about yes. not wasting your time at school but doing stuff, but also having a good balance with yes. where your heart takes you really Absolutely. and what you enjoy and enjoyment is key. I think to any job yes. is key. Oh, yeah, you have and to this would be it. your advice, maybe. That would be my advice. Find yes. enjoyment. <laughs> enjoyment in life. Yes, that's really good advice, yeah, I think. I definitely yes, follow that Yes, be true advice. to yourself and have a good enjoyment in what you do. If you like it, you'll be good at it yeah. as well. That's in your enjoyment. That's true. I think, though, you shouldn't rush into university. Give yourself a year. And mm. find or not go at all, in fact. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you know, unless you I want to be a doctor I, yes. or... If you've got a vocation, then I think that's the way yes. forward. But otherwise, I think, yeah, it's not necessarily an apprenticeship yeah, really I think these days, are great. Aren't they? Yeah, have yeah. a skill. I mean, I did nursing mm. and I, that's carried me all over the world. Never been without mm. a job and um, never wanted to be a nurse and then thought I might try it and loved it. So Yeah, I try think, different things. Yeah, that's good advice. Yeah, and the, don't rush into uni. No. You don't know who you are I didn't or go to study. uni. <laughs> I did, and I would say, <laughs> if you don't know what you want to do and you don't have a calling, then go to university. Uh, because it does broaden your horizons and give you more of an idea of what you might like to do in life. And yeah. it is enjoyable, and it's quite enriching in many Sorry. ways. <laughs> now, can, if I can ask you, what, what is your... Are you giving life advice to everyone or just to your younger self? I don't know. <laughs> okay, tell me what your life advice is then and we'll try and figure it out. Always chase bubbles as fast as you can because it's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> and are you someone who chased uh, enough bubbles or not enough bubbles? Not you know, enough. Not enough. Is there a deeper meaning to chasing bubbles? Or do you mean literally just chase bubbles? Just chase bubbles. Perfect. Let's go to the first one that you said about, uh, what was it, keep assholes out of your uh, life? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and does this, I'm, I'm guessing that this is because maybe you had some people like this. I think everybody life. had them. They're the people, you know, who always negative, always pulling you down. When, you, when, you, when, you're, when you're saying like, oh, I want to study that. Oh, no, don't do that. Go to work. Um, things like that, you know, like, oh, I, I'm going to live in Spain for a year. Oh, no, don't do that. Stay here. Yeah. That's kind of a And there's always people who are afraid to live. That's a very good point. Yeah. And how many assholes do you have left in your life? None. <laughs> None. Really, really. Yeah? Yeah. That's, that's why I left my country. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. A country full of assholes. <laughs> do you say this from a point of view of someone who maybe didn't follow their intuition earlier in your life? Um, no, I think I've always tried to, but you know, every time I haven't, then I realize afterwards I should have. So it just it's comforting myself that yeah, I should always do that because there might be a, a few times where I didn't for some reasons, and then I realized oh yeah, if I had. <laughs> What life advice would you give people? Um, make good friends and then keep them close. And what would you say to someone who maybe um, is maybe has a few, some good friends, but maybe two or three that maybe aren't so great? Maybe they like look up to them, but not for the reason that they're a good friend. Well, if they don't do things for you that you do for them, then I wouldn't keep them because they're probably just taking advantage of you not always but probably nicely put do you say this because you're reflecting back on maybe things that you've done or is this something that you've actually put into place previously retrospectively that's worked for you yeah i mean i, I can only go off my own personal experience yeah. so yeah i guess it's a, a bit of a combination of both you know that's um like i said hindsight's an amazing thing and, and looking back i kind of probably spent a few years of my life chasing something that I thought I should be chasing rather than following my passion, if you know what I mean. Whether that's, you know, kids these days have got a lot of pressures about, you know, going to the right university, about getting the right job, about getting married and about having kids. And there's, there is a lot of expectation on young people. And I think um, ultimately, yeah, just, just trying to ignore the noise and, and, and kind of listen to, to what you want to do and, and surround yourself with kind of people that 
are going to support that. But I'm going to have to go, mate, because she's going to trash your equipment. Perfect. Thank you very much. Do you now follow your gut instinct? All the time. Really? Yeah. And yeah. have you had any success, any success in doing that? I just feel that as a person, I'm probably happier because I think if you're trying to second guess all the time what people think you should be doing, you miss out and that makes you miserable. And I think you should be true to yourself, follow your heart. Hmm. I think this is quite good for other people, not just you, respectively, <laughs> as well. Well, if I'm happier, then I think everybody else is going to be happier. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Really nice. Well said. For your second point, were you a naughty kid at school? I think my parents, parents weren't there for me and right. therefore I was difficult, something you learn afterwards. Hmm. And because I didn't get much love and attention, I reflected on school and teachers and things like that. I see. I didn't have a very stable youth. I see. And you learned this. And did you say you, you restudied? I restudied, yeah. yeah. Very good. Yeah. So you've kind of ticked the boxes for your life advice. Yes. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Let me know some of your life advice in the comments below and we'll see you next week. Bye.